hi guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to create this dark mode and light mode inheritance frame here basically it's a mode switch that makes you switch between light and dark mode i'm going to click on this and i'm going to drag it to this particular section as you can see the entire design that was in the light theme just transitioned into a dark theme and you can drag this particular design to this light mode and you will have your light mode design back so guys um this is what we are going to be learning in this particular tutorial please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video in order to start creating our designs we are going to be making use of this product detail mobile ui that we have here and this design was gotten from an earlier video on the channel where we created this animating slider the link to this file is going to be in the description section so that you can download it and have a template to start working with so let's go back to our initial design file so the first thing we are going to do is to start creating our color variables here we have a range of colors that we used for this design file you can go ahead and define them like this but it is not necessary you can always pick them from your design file so the first thing you're going to do to start creating your local variables is to click somewhere around in your design and make sure you're not selecting any particular layer or element you're going to see this local variable option and you're going to click on it you're going to open up this collection panel and these collections basically just lets you hold a collection of variables so the first thing we want to do is to rename our collection and here i'm just going to say product theme for instance you can name it anything so from here what you want to do next is to start creating your variables and in this case we want to create a color variable so i'm going to click on variables you're going to see a number of options in my previous video i talked about the number variable and the boolean variable in this particular video we are going to be going into the color variable so i'm going to select color variable and for this color variable basically what we want to do is to log this particular um, set of colors into these variables and if you don't know what variables are variables are basically containers that hold a particular value so in this case we are going to have a color variable and we are going to be using a primitive format to save our color variables and we are not going to be using um, the naming formats that shows the intention behind the colors. so for instance you can name your colors like background color or foreground color or text color for instance so in that way you're naming it based on the intent but in this case we are just naming the colors themselves so i'm going to name this white and obviously this is the hex code for white so i'm just going to leave it as it is but if you want to select a particular hex code you can click on this color click on this icon and then pick the color that you want so next to white, I'm going to create another color variable and I'm going to call this gray 100. This is the format I am going to be using. You can use any naming convention for your own values. So for this gray 100, I'm just going to select the next shade of gray, which is this very first one here. And as you can see the value, it is F6, F6, F6. I'm going to create another color variable and this is going to be gray 200. And I'm going to select, use this picker icon to select this gray 200 color, which is almost like our design files background color. I'm going to create another variable, still a color variable. I'm going to pick the next shade of gray, which is this. And I'm going to rename this to gray 300. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to have gray 400. But the color for this is going to be a darker shade of color i think i picked the gray 300 which is this 5a 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 so we are going to have one more shade of color which is going to be our gray 500 and i'm going to pick this last shade of gray here so i'm going to add one more color which is a black color which is the um, all zeros so I'm going to name this black, just like the way we have the white value up here. And obviously, I'm just going to make it all zeros. So now we have a set of color values for 
our color variables. The next thing we want to do is to go ahead and tie this colors to the color variable. So if I close this up and we click on this uh, product screen and I open this up, you're going to see we just have this particular color codes that we have here. So if you want to start replacing or attaching or linking those color variables to the colors you use in your actual design, you can click on the section where you want to replace that color or to attach that color. So for instance, we have this product section and there's this background color here. If I click on it, we can go to the fill section, click on this particular style icon, and we will see the list of variables that we added to our collection. So here you can see this is this background color is F6, F6, F6. And if I open up this local variable, you're going to see that this is gray 100. You can open this up, click on your background color and try to match or try to match the values together. So here F6, 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 you're going to see that this is gray 100. So you can click on your styles and select gray 100. You can also click on, if you click on the entire page, we are using for the fill of the entire page, we are using white. You can select this and select white. What you can also do is to select this particular frame where you have all your colors and you're going to see in your selection colors all your list of colors. You can go ahead to start attaching these variables to the colors from this section. So I'm just going to continue from this section. So this is our color code black, all zeros, as you can see here, the last variable here. I'm going to select this icon and I'm going to select black to attach it to our black variable. So the next one is E5, 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 which is our gray 200. I'm going to select gray 200. We have our white color. As you can see, I'm going to select this and I'm going to still select white. We have 858585, which is our grade 300. I'm going to do select, I'm going to do the same thing and select grade 300. So we have um, F6, 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 which is our grade 100. I'm going to do the same thing and select grade 100. So the importance of selecting from this place is that it selects a particular hex code and replaces it all around in the file. So for instance, where we selected this section here we are still going to if we have other sections that have this color we are then going to go and start picking these colors individually but if we select it from our selection panel here it's just going to automatically select it from every other place where you have the same color code so once you've successfully attached your color code to your variables i'm just going to go ahead to close up this panel the next thing you want to do now is to create your mode so i'm going to open up that panel back i'm going to click randomly in the design panel go to this local variable section and open it up so what we want to do typically is to have two modes either a light and dark mode or you can name it day and night mode depending on on the naming convention you want to use i'm going to click on this plus button this plus button lets us create a new variable mode so basically when we have a value that holds, when we have a variable that holds a single value, if we want to have um, to be able to, if we want to be able to switch between different options of value for that particular variable, we are going to create a new mode. So I'm going to click on this new mode, and as you can see, it has changed the title of that value to mode one and mode two. I'm just going to rename this to light, and I'm going to rename mode two to dark mode. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to now be setting the values for this dark mode and replacing it with what we have on the light mode. So for instance, if we see on here, we have our gray 100, which is um, this F6, F6. If I click on this section on the dark mode, you're going to see that it is F, A, F, A, F, A, which is typically this gray 400. So what you're going to do is you're going to replace the value of this gray 400 with the value of this particular um, white theme so that once it's on dark mode it's going to have this value instead of this value but before we go into that i'm just going to undo this particular thing and i'm going to leave the values to be the same for a start because i want to walk you guys through this transition step by step 
So I'm going to leave the values to be the same and I'm going to close up this model. I'm going to go to the frame section and I'm just going to draw out a frame. I'm going to make it slightly bigger than our mobile UI so that I can fit our mobile UI in it. So now what I want to do is to give this frame the dark mode values. So in order to do that, I'm going to come to this few section. I'm going to click on this icon here that says style. And what I want to do basically is to add a new library. So in order to add this new library, I'm just going to name this local variable. And I'm going to be fetching from our product team collection. I'm going to click on create variable. And here in our layers, you're going to see a button appear. So you can use this button to change variable mode. So to change variable mode, I'm going to come to this product team and I'm going to select dark mode. Now we have this frame tied to the dark mode variable option that we have. So if I take this our particular screen, I'm going to duplicate it and put it here. We are going to notice that nothing changed and that is because our values we are going to notice that nothing changes that's because our values here are the same so for instance here that we have white if i invert this and make this particular white background to have this hexadecimal which is this 333 here and i paste it you're going to see that it automatically changes um the values here in our frame so i'm just rename this frame to dark mode so that you can see how these changes are happening step by step so for this particular color code um which is the gray 100 f6 f6 that we're using for this place we want to switch it to this particular value which is 5a 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 so we are going to come to this section here and for F6, 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 we want to replace it with this particular one, which is 5A, 5A, 5A. Now you can see that we are getting something that looks like our dark team representation. And that is the only reason why we have this dark team here. So that we can just have it side by side to make sure we are having the exact values. So for black here, which is this typical black that we have, um, which is the black text that we have, and this deep black um, status bar here what we want to do is we want to make it white so for black here we are going to change these values to white which is i'm going to copy the value of white and i'm going to replace it here and you can see how this is transitioning to be something really cool so what else um do we need to swap i think for now this is almost good so i'm going to click on this and you can see this is also white so i'm going to pick the value here which is this grade 300 so i'm going to change grade 300 to white also so we also have some values that are not yet changed so for instance this white icon here which is um every single white we want to change it to black which we did here but it's not showing here so i wonder what's happening this is white it's supposed to also change to black but okay this is something we are also going to consider you can see here that because we are transitioning from white to black the white here is also um not visible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this section and i'm going to detach this particular white from it and here i'm going to detach this particular white and i'm going to leave it at the value of white one two three so as you can see here we have a proper representation of our dark mode and this is how you create a light and dark mode so now i'm just going to close up this model i'm going to duplicate this actually I'm going to duplicate this and for this new frame i'm going to change it from dark mode to light mode and you can see guys this is just automatically switching so if i delete the contents in this particular frames all right you can see that 
I can also delete this dark mode. We don't really need it. So you can see that these are product design here that we have. As soon as we drag it and fit it in any of these particular frames, it just automatically changes in value to the respective um, mode that was set for that frame. So guys, I hope you guys really understood the concept of this light and dark mode and I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, please do not forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.